It is Saturday, September 19, 2020 at 2.04 a.m. Alright guys, let's take a look quickly here at the National Hurricane Center. We've got five things on the board. We got Tropical Storm Beta, we got Hurricane Teddy, we got Tropical Storm Wilfred, then we have Disturbance 1, then we have Disturbance 2. Let's take a look quickly here. At, take a look at beta. This is what this video is going to be about. Tropical storm beta, maximum sustained winds, 50 knots or 60 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure, 996 millibars. Located at 25.8 north and 92.2 west. Movement north northeast at 10 knots or 12 miles an hour. All right, let's take a look quickly here. Key messages for tropical storm beta. There is an increasingly risk of heavy rainfall and flooding along the northwest Gulf Coast Sunday through at least the middle of next week as Beta is forecast to move slowly toward and along or offshore the coast throughout this time. For additional information, see products from your local National Weather Service office. 2. Life threatening storm surge and hurricane force winds are possible along portions of the Texas coast early next week with tropical storm conditions possible by late this weekend. Storm surge and hurricane watches are in effect and residents in these areas should ensure that they have the hurricane plan in place and follow advice given by local officials. Alright, let's take a look at Tropical Storm Beta. Alright, Tropical Storm Beta has maximum sustained winds of 60 miles an hour and is moving north-northeast at 12 miles an hour. Alright, it is forecasted to become a hurricane and approach Texas. Eastern Texas. Alright, it is forecast to become it's still a storm at 7 p.m. on Saturday. It becomes a hurricane at 7 a.m. on Sunday. Then by 7 p.m. on Monday and 7 p.m. on Tuesday, it is forecasted to be by the coast of Texas. And then later on, wander off and become a storm again. Alright, let's take a look at the satellite imagery. Alright, so that's what the National Hurricane Center uh, was telling us that it's heading towards Texas but when I look at this um, map right here this infrared map it just looks like it's headed straight for Louisiana and for the border of Mississippi and Alabama and parts of Florida again I don't know why it's such a hot spot for storms lately but they should be getting at least some rainfall from the storm. It's headed towards Louisiana, but the National Hurricane Center said it's forecasted to land off the shore of Texas. So let's see what happens. Let's see if it actually heads into Louisiana or if it actually makes a left turn and heads into Texas. All right. Let's take a look quickly here. These are the spaghetti models for beta, tropical storm beta model tracking guidance. You see here they have it coming towards the towards the left and then going into Texas. And some models have it going into Louisiana. Alright. So let's go now to the Greek alphabet. Um these are the names of the hurricanes or the storms um, now that we've passed the regular alphabet we're into the Greek alphabet we are in beta we already passed alpha we're in beta next is gamma then delta then epsilon then zeta zeta is what we reached in 2015 that's the um, farthest we got um, into the uh, Greek alphabet hopefully we don't make it that far hopefully the storms ease up but Zeta was what we made it into last um, time we made it this far into the Greek alphabet. Alright, then there's Eta, then Theta, then Iota, then Kappa, then Lambda, then Mu. Then Nu, then Z, then Omicron, then Pi, then Rho, then Sigma, then Tau, then Upsilon, Phi, Psi, Psi, and Omega. So we have a full Greek alphabet waiting for us if we get a whole bunch of other storms. 
Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. And be prepared if you live in Texas. Be prepared if you live in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. The Gulf Coast has been so active this year. Alright guys, stay safe out there. Hit like and subscribe for more videos. And see you guys next time. God bless.